Address Dr. Cloud with SOAP UI. What are the prerequisites before you can use Address Dr. Cloud with SOAP UI? You need to have a DQC email account, either a private email address or distribution list, and you need to have a valid account ID. This account needs to have transactions in batch, interactive or fast completion mode. So first check the prerequisites. I need to have an account with Informatica at the DQC .com with a password. And I need to have an account ID which has transactions. You can see what kind of transactions we have for this particular account. I cannot use the UK, I cannot use Ireland, but I can use other ones as well. So if I can't, if I don't have the license for this, I'm not able to use the uh, web services. As you can see, I do have no limitations here yet. Okay, thank you. So let's go to our web services. So I opened uh, SOAP UI and I have here a request. For your information, if you want to have sample uh, requests, you can go to a knowledge base and there are several uh, knowledge base articles where you can find all kinds of different requests. In this case, it's just an example of how you submit a batch request. I will go through it by detail. This is the, my login, this is my password, the process mode, I can change from batch to interactive to fast completion. This is something I want to add myself. This is a transaction poll, which is, in my case, a test transaction poll. I can have the format types. I can want to have all the information. I have a format delimiter a semicolon. There is no default country set. I don't, I force to have the uh, country there. Country type should be in English. I want to have the street with a number. I want to have my output with the country itself. I want to have all the information not abbreviated. I prefer the database information as well for script as well for language. And I want to have for the alias street and the alias locality the official uh, name. Global casing is mixed, which means that I have uh, uh, upper characters and lower characters uh, mixed. Maximum length, global preferences, and these are all kinds of variables you can use as well. Geocoding is arrival point. I can limit or extend the information from particular elements like the recipient line. I can have it mixed, maximum length. The mixed here, uh, this uh, is set as default. If you want to overrule it, you can change it to upper to lo or lower for particular elements. If you don't have it entered, you will not have any different issue. Okay, then I have three addresses because I'm using batch mode. I can submit more than one address, which I did one in Germany, one in the Netherlands, and one in the UK. And I click on select. And here you can see, should the window a little bit lower further. These are the results. The first result is for the first file. So the V4 is only for the first address. It's correct that it comes from Germany. There's only one result coming back because it's patch mode. It's availability of five. Percentage is 100%. And these are the element input status, result status, relevance, etc. All what it all means is, look, is documented in documentation. The address type is an S, which stands for standard. Language is uh, uh, Germany. This is the street, as we mentioned, we want to have the house number as well in the street mentioned. That's the reason why you can find it. Locality. It has a locality and it has a sublocality. Neubruck. Postal code. Province. Germany. Deliver address line contains only the information on building, subbuilding, and street. So that's the reason why you find only street here. Then there is the country specific locality line. This is the information that was also uh, necessary to have the postal, the right postal information for the postal service. And this is the address as it has to be submitted for uh, a valid for a mail in Germany. So the street, postal code, 
uh, locality as you can see there's this locality is missing because it's not uh, necessary information for the postal service and germany and if you write it out as one sentence then it's the street and germany that's because i have set the here as because I've set the format delimiter to semicolon. If I would have set it to comma, then it would have set use the comma here as well. And here you would see there's a comma in between instead of a semicolon. Same for the second address. It's also V4, Holland, mailability, etc. etc. That's the advantage of batch mode in SOAP UI. So to summarize everything, you need to have a valid email account with DQC and you need to have an account ID with three transactions. We'd love to hear from you from support videos at informatica.com or on the Twitter channel InfaSupport. Thank you.